Okay, let's go. Hello, stop it. Oh my God, ooch, ouch. Nice. I'm Ed, I'm 54 years old. People know me as Big Ed. I'm from San Diego, California. And I am a professional photographer. Oh my God, right there, right there, beautiful. That's perfect, oh my God. Nice, 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 hold on. I actually gave myself the name Big Ed. Perfect. Because I have a huge personality and it makes me feel tall. That's the money. <laughs> nice. Also, it's funny because I'm not tall. Good job. Rain. I'm actually 4'11", not in heels. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. My height is something that I'm very self-conscious of, but it's something that I've been able to overcome because I'm big head. Your guys are great. Oh, okay. Thanks again. Thanks again. You're welcome. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Teddy, this is not about you. Teddy is my best friend. Good boy. I cannot think about my life without Teddy. Love you, buddy. He's somebody that I can talk to. He's somebody that listens. I'll always have you. I'll always have my Teddy. He's a good boy. My track record with relationships is not very good. I was married for two years, and it didn't work out because I was unfaithful. Drink some more water. Come on. It was just a stupid mistake. But I did get a beautiful daughter out of that marriage, Tiffany. She's 29 years old. We are pretty much two peas in a pod. She is just like her father, stubborn, and she's the best thing that I have created on this earth. You my buddy? You my buddy, Teddy, always? Come on. After my divorce, I didn't think about having a girlfriend because of my daughter. My daughter was my life. Teddy, sit. Say your doggy prayers. OK, OK. Good job, good boy. By waiting to date so long, I said to myself, I'm never gonna find love. It's me and Teddy. This is gonna be my life. She's texting me right now, telling me that she loves me. But when I met Rose, everything changed. My girlfriend is Rose Marie. She's 23 years old and she lives in the Philippines. One day I'm online on social media. I'm scrolling through, adding friends, and I come across Rose Marie's picture, and I'm like, oh my God. I sent her a friend request. She accepted me, and we became friends about three months ago. She has the most amazing, deep brown eyes. I was like, wow, I'm in love. <laughs> Talking to Rose has become the best part of my day. Oh, cool. So I said, look, will you be my girlfriend? Her response was, sure, I'll be your queen and you can be my king. <laughs> Every morning, the first thing she does when she wakes up is she sends me a photograph. I don't have a connection like this with anyone. Rose is the woman of my dreams, and I can't wait anymore to meet her. So next week, I'm traveling 7,500 miles all the way to the Philippines to meet Rose, the love of my life, for the very first time. I know in my heart, She's the one. Hey, Ed, how's hey, it going? Ryan, how you doing, man? Doing well. Hey, Teddy. Awesome. Where are we shipping to today? Well, uh, what do you think? Yeah? <laughs> the Philippines. Again? Again, yeah. Rosemary? Rosemary. All right. After about four weeks of Rose being my girlfriend, I started sending gifts every week. But unfortunately, as far as I know, Rose hasn't received any of the many gifts 
that I've sent because she lives in a very poor and remote area. So it takes a long time. But on gifts and shipping, I've probably spent over $5,000. What are you sending her? This time, this is much smaller. What'd you send her last time? Oh my God, sheets, shoes, um, pillows. Um, I bought her dad a grill, like everything, like everything. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. Lucky girl. Yeah. Actually, I've spent more in shipping than what I'm sending. <laughs> Egg comes in here all the time, sending stuff internationally to his online girlfriend. I know he hasn't met her before. I think it's a, a little crazy, but it must be love if he's willing to ship all these gifts. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Yeah. 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 Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I am nervous. Um, we're getting a lot of pushback from my friends, from my mom, and... Following I, your heart. I'm following my heart. People that I've told about Rosemary, they're very skeptical, and some of them were very worried. Very hey, much. good luck. Dude, I appreciate Best it. Best of luck. Man. Thanks. All right, later. Bye. But I have not been in a relationship since my divorce 28 years ago. Oh, hey, Mom. How are Hi, you doing? Hi, How are you? Good. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, man. You still didn't cut your hair. I know. Uh, I'm not going to cut my hair. You look more handsome with your hair short. So, Mom, I needed to um, ask you if you can watch Teddy while I'm gone to the Philippines. Why are you going? Are you serious about Rose or what? Well, I'm very serious about Rose. I already bought a ring. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Take it back. You don't know if it, this is going to work out, Pony. Have you spoken to Tiffany about how she feels about all this situation? I can't. She won't talk to me. Tiffany's my daughter, and we've been so close all of her life. When I told my daughter about Rosemary, it was downhill from there. She, she stopped talking to me. And it's been like four weeks since I've heard from her. I think she's somewhat embarrassed that, that I want to marry somebody that is younger than she is. I really think that she's genuinely concerned about you going out there. I'm so wrapped up in being in love and excited that I finally met somebody after 28 years that I haven't thought about how this is, you know, affecting Tiffany. Maybe it's a good idea for you to stop and think about those things. I know. I just want to be happy for once. I just, for once, I want it to work out. You are determined to go and meet this girl. Do it. Do it. But my advice to you is reestablish your relationship with Tiffany that you've always had. At this point, I don't think Rose is worth the risk. The big risk is taking. I'm going to keep calling Tiffany. I'm not going to give up. I love her, Mom. She's my daughter. 